Rogers now in his 10th season at Auburn. He has won 195 games in those 10 years at Auburn. And this team, as he says, might be the second best team he's had in those 10 years. And Dave, tonight all about matchups. How does Missouri match up with the bigs inside of Auburn, especially Broom? He's going against a freshman. That was clinical on one end. And then I'm looking for the freshman in the young backcourt of Auburn. How do they guard the veteran backcourt of Missouri? Didn't take long for Janai Broom to go right at Jordan Butler. Here is Butler now. Working against Broom. And keep an eye how they guard Sean East. I don't think they'll leave him. Here's Bates. Shot clock at three. He's not going to get a shot. I don't think he does. Just barely get it off and rips the net. So much for you, Dave Neal. I won't get this shot off. Woo, wow. Wow. He was back. His back was to the basket with two on the shot clock and just ripped the net. And we have seen Tamar Bates just come into his own in SEC play. Outstanding shooter. A mismatch there. Sean East working on Broom who poked it away from Janai. It's going to go back to Missouri. We talk about Bates. Shot clock winded down because of the active hands by Holloway. And Bates, smart enough, teammates telling him the shot clock. Knocks it in, nearly a 40% three-point shooter. Here's the matchup. Aiden Holloway, the freshman, guarding a much veteran and a wise, wise man in Shawnee's. The young fellow Butler misses his first shot of the game. Butler averages two points a game. Auburn's going to make him make a few of those shots. Denver Jones to Williams. He'll fire for three off the mark. Long rebound chase down there by Tamar Bates. Missouri will push the ball. They've got, the, again, Honor, Bates, East. They all shoot it well. Those three need to control the pace for the Tigers. Two-pointer for Bates. Boy, if Tamar Bates is going to shoot it like that, watch out. I would be surprised if Auburn doesn't go back inside to Broom because the first possession was so easy when he caught it inside. He's posted up now and spins on Butler and a foul as he slaps him across the arm. And Jordan Butler is barely 18 years old. Freshman learning the SEC. Janai Broom, he's been around, knows how to score. And it is a mismatch on the first two possessions for him. Foul on the floor, so the Tigers will inbound it. Auburn, the Tigers of Auburn say, I've already done it. I've already done it one time. The Tigers and Tigers. A lot of Tigers. Ajax on the floor now. Labor. Tall, lanky. Again, I would expect Mizzou to play a lot of zone against this Auburn team. What a foul call is Cheney Johnson went high flying to the rim. A terrific athlete, Cheney Johnson, a guy off the bench, one of the most athletic players. And you take a look at the numbers where Auburn is unbelievable because of the way Bruce Pearl obviously plays a lot of guys. They don't play a lot of minutes. Everybody's about 20 to 25 minutes. You take a look at Missouri, most of their production is the three guards that start out front. Cheney Johnson, 68% at the free throw line. Played well against Mississippi State, 18 minutes, couple points, couple rebounds, couple assists. I think it's guys like Cheney Johnson, uh, that will make this team better. Denver Jones is another one. Guys that change the game. We know the stars will play well. It's the guys that come in and uh, KD Johnson, right? When he comes in, how aggressive he can change the game. Nice pass inside the base. Foul will head to the line. Bates frustrated. He couldn't convert. Be on Chad Baker Mazzara, his first. And the one thing Bruce Pearl talked to us about today is they don't want to foul. This Missouri team shoots 78% from the free throw line. But even more than that, it's the guys that get fouled. Tamar Bates is 92%, Nick Honor 88. And if you go down and look at Sean East, he's at 85. Bates this year, 50% from the field. 
He's 39% from the three-point line and 92 at the line. And there's Sean East hanging there right with him. Well, about 47% from behind the arc. The numbers are off the charts because these are the two guards or the two guys that defenses focus on to try to stop. Bates is outscoring Auburn 7 to 4 by himself. 1-3-1 one, one zone. They worked on this today. They'll be very aggressive in it. Broom dumped. Gets it off to Baker Mazzara. He picks up his dribble. Shot clock at 10. Baker Mazzara fires for three. And has it. Chad Baker Mazzara averaging 10 a game. I think he's got star potential. I think he is unbelievable player defensively and offensively. He can do it on both ends. And he has just emerged as the season's gone. And what he's watched him play. His last nine games have just been phenomenal. Up and under by Nick Goddard. That didn't go. And rebound to Chaney Johnson. Little ball fake there from Aiden Holloway. And got a friendly roll on the road. Shooter's bounce, but he is a good shooter. Not, not as consistent shooting the ball this year, but as a freshman, that happened. Started well early, struggled a bit, but now he's on the scout report. Long rebound. Off the miss by Honor. Tigers out, the Auburn Tigers out in front by two. That's two times. Yeah, you'll have a few more. Thank you for your we'll, confidence. We'll, we'll go you. with you. <laughs> Hang in there, partner. Long game. Yeah. Off the mark from Denver Jones. Here's Bates. He's just going to take Johnson right to the basket. I'm not sure where that pass was. Who was intended for? Back to Baker Mazzara. Got it. Boy, a little scramble situation, and Auburn wins. That's some kind of play, wasn't it? A lot happened there. Intercepted a pass going to nobody. Shot was blocked. Saved it. Good sharing of the ball by Aiden Holloway. Good assist. What East, East commands attention, doesn't he? But he controls his dribble. It's an 8-0 Auburn run. Allen was blocked in there by Cheney Johnson. And this is a team defensively that will block some shots, average nearly six blocks a game. And a foul on Jones. That'll be his first. He and Sean East shoot a lot of life when you watch him play. See, Bruce Pearl gave us the thumbs up on our description of Chad Baker Bazaar. You see that just in that shot? He was like, yeah, you guys nailed it. <laughs> Perfect. I like that. He's got he's got earphones in. He's listening to what they're saying. Hall of Fame coach. Carl Allen Martin on the floor. about Florida putting up 105 wow. on Alabama today? Well, Alabama plays at that pace, right? That they're going to get up and down. you got a chance to score. The outlet up ahead. Trey Donaldson. To the right of Anthony Robinson, but that one was blocked. Here comes Sean East back the other way. Terrific hustle by Bates to get back in that play. Looked like an easy two for Donaldson. You know what they can do against Sean East when they put Baker Mazar on him? Baker Mazar 6-7. Challenges East because he doesn't go as tall as always 6-3. Foul on KD. You know, if you never, Dave, quit on a play, you never know if you get back in it. What looked like an easy layup, even Trey Donaldson probably thought so. Great hustle by Tamar Bates. Well, he has had a fabulous SEC season. A transfer from Indiana. First points for Missouri in over three minutes. Bruce Pearl shakes his head. KD Johnson shakes his head. He thought he was there to challenge him. First points for Sean East. Donaldson. Corner to Baker Mazzara. That one won't drop a nice big rebound from Dylan Cardwell. So things happen when Dylan is on the no floor. Doubt. No doubt. He's active. He's aggressive. He's got a, he's got such a big frame, 6'11", 255, that he's hard to keep away from the rim if you're not as physical as he is. 
Missouri's not the, the thickest of teams inside. They're, they're tall, but they're not very thick. Katie Johnson. Oh, wow, that's a tough call. Katie Johnson is mad that he passed it. He wanted to go up for the shot. Robinson's going to get whistled for the foul. The freshman out of Tallahassee. Here is a terrific fake. Now, Robinson defensively kind of stays. Now, once you get the contact whistle, just throw it up to the rim. Bruce Pearl switching out his starting five. Stay in the matchup zone. Dennis Gates does. Williams. Well, he can do some yeah. damage right there. Right in that sweet spot of the zone. Jalen Williams can dominate that area. Jalen still wearing the wrap around that right knee area that was injured a few weeks ago. Nice shot there from Jordan Butler. It's the pace and, and as much as Shawnee's dribbles, but he draws two, three, four sets of eyes from the opponent. And if you're watching him dribble, then guys cut and they'll be open. Ray Donaldson gets it to Cardwell. Little kick out pass. Katie Johnson will fire for three. Off the front of the rim. There's Chris Moore working hard inside. Got the basket. Boy, they'll be happy in Auburn about that move and that bucket by Chris Moore. That score a lot, but very aggressive. Trying to get more minutes. Sean East is so sneaky offensively. Foul on Carl Arrow Martin. As I mentioned, Chris Moore does not score a lot, but one of the major voices on this team. A physical rebound and then a physical finish. Did not get a whistle. Might have thought he might have got one, but uh, a good two points. Leor Berman not with the Auburn team for the rest of the year with torn ACL suffered against Mississippi State that means that Chris Moore is getting more minutes and, and that was tough to see Louis yeah. Moore hit with one, of the, one of the main contributors to this Auburn team hopefully surgery and all that goes well he'll be playing professional ball in Israel where's Grant Barrett's left Dylan Cardwell making it look easy how about Katie Johnson off the dribble with his aggressiveness here's Butler turning Inside and that one is blocked right into the hands of Donaldson. Auburn loves this pace. Oh boy That one circles the rim Cardinal says I'll take it There's a chance that uh, this team could tie for a title. Could you imagine five-way tie? There'd be five banners hung in five different areas Gets it across the midcourt strike defended by KD Johnson. Auburn is a excellent defensive team. They're long, they're quick, they're aggressive. My goodness, yeah, you gotta do yeah. something with the ball. He didn't have anywhere to go. That's what he just said. Honor and walked over and said, get rid of the ball. And he says, to who? And this is that second group for Auburn that comes in and Loves the fact that they can either up tempo a game, get steals defensively. We know KD Johnson's going to be aggressive, but just the way they attack and play. Auburn is fifth in the country in bench production, averaging 34 points a game. That doesn't even count what they do on the defensive end of the floor to disrupt the opponent. Trey Donaldson, who comes on, then runs point. He started a few games this year, five of them to be exact. Bruce Pearl saying that. He just felt like Trey worked better with this group that's on the floor right now. Yeah, he had 10 starts, but he had five in a row in, in kind of the middle of that SEC season. Uh, they want to give Aiden Holloway a little bit of a look, too, differently. Because it uh, becomes tough as a freshman to run the squad. And he said Aiden actually worked better with the five that start the game. And I would say that as a player also. I work better with the starter. <laughs> of course you did. Put me back in. <laughs> Katie Johnson lost the handle. Off to Aiden Shaw. The Connor. Fire for three. Got it. Little fall away three for Nick Connor. Probably what Honor does best, honestly, is a catch and release play. Square shoulder shoots it well. At times, if he dribbles it too deep in the lane, he has trouble. 
Cardwell. And it poked out of there. Active hands by Missouri. A very aggressive defensive squad tonight for Mizzou. Boy, if they can get this guy going, it might be a game changer, but second chance opportunity and a foul against Auburn. It all started off the Noah Carter miss. Otter loves to uh, bounce a little bit to his left to get a shot off. When he gets it set, this guy shoots a high percentage, 38% from three. Dennis Gates always would like Nick Honor to take more shots. A little tougher sometimes when you're only 5'10 to get some of those shots. But I can see, you know, when you watch this Missouri team play, you would lean heavily on Honor East and Bates. Carl uh, Martin, 70% at the line, only been there now 11 times. He's a guy that played a bunch of minutes in the game against Ole Miss. The second most of the season, he played 26. He was held scoreless. Did have four assists and three steals, but uh, played a bunch of minutes in that game. When they made their comeback in the second half, uh, Calero Martin was on the floor. Three steals. Yes, he had four fouls, but he was aggressive. And, and part of the reason he changed the tempo, and Missouri got back into that game against the Rebels. Auburn by four. And fresh bodies now in for Auburn. Williams in traffic. Oh, quick move, quick hands. He quickly head to the free throw line. Boy, great movement on the offensive end. Five people moving, five people cutting. Little dribble handoff up top. And as the cut by Williams happens, watch the pass right on the money. And it wasn't even his man guarding. Noel Carter trying to help reached in from guarding a different man. Williams at the free throw line, 83%. Tenth in the conference and free throw percentage. Of course, there it is. I'll do it again. Never fails. Here's Bates, got off to a hot start, scored their first seven, and then gets to the logo and knocks on that little jumper. Pretty smooth and uh, too much space when he dribbles in the lane. You've got to jam Bates. He doesn't mind contact, though, because he does shoot 92% for the free throw. Zach Broon, Andrew Mazzara, back to Janai. How about that two-man play with those two guys? How effective you put them on one side of the floor and let them go to work? Oh, Shaw knocked that off. Well, that almost looked like offensive goaltending. Yeah, yeah. basket interference. Bates lost the handle. Jones left hand, and that one is. Are they going to give him the basket? They're going to score it. Now, Belich yeah. Yeah. you know, you're right. trying to signal, and hey, we, yeah. we got this. We give them two over there. Yeah, Take it out on the side. Another valuable piece, Denver Jones, in addition this year from Florida International. We talked, we talked about how deep this team is. Eight guys to score. Eight guys to score already. For the Tigers of Auburn. You know, like how you did that. All right, East and Bates put him as focal points. Let him go to work. Boy, look at that. So active and so long defensively, Auburn. Here's Carter. Nice pass. Uh, Reaching foul on Holloway. Did it say he was in the act of shooting? Yes. Two shots coming up. Hey, tomorrow night we have a men's basketball double dip for you right here on this very network. We're featuring the second game as Vanderbilt squares off against. 15th ranked Kentucky from Rupp Arena at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. The Cats, second highest scoring team in the Southeastern Conference right now. And certainly they have been on a roll lately offensively. Look at those numbers. 106 <laughs> per game over the last three. It's NBA stuff. The, the thing about Kentucky, and, and everybody can talk, well, they don't defend, they don't do that. No, but here's what they do do. They've got guys that can absolutely, a wide variety of guys, that can put serious numbers from all different angles, outside, inside. Tough matchup right here. 
Now Broom goes to the right hand. Baker Mazzara throws it up. There's a foul. I'm trying to figure that. Yeah. Did it? Dennis Gates hits the rim. Dennis Gates, I think, just got t got teed up. Well, he passed it to himself. Can't do that. It's Lawrence Bowers, the great yeah. Missouri Tiger. So he's stuck here now. Good play, but. Did that? Can't do that. Yeah, Lawrence not happy with it. Lawrence, boy, he was Mr. Double Double. Yeah, he was. God, hey, he was a I think, I, think, I think I think Bowers was a technical. Yes. Up, yeah. He's in row five over there. <laughs> so Jones. The ruling on that, by the way, for those at home, I know that people here are getting mad, but if it's a legitimate shot, it's like, you can go get it. So, so the interpretation I would ask, yeah. you said that is a legitimate shot attempt, but I see what they're saying. He did throw it towards the basket. I mean, this, I mean, let's define good shot, bad shot, well, legitimate a, shot. Well, obviously it turned out to be a good shot. Great, great shot. shot. Yeah. Baker Mazzara knocks home the free throw. Tell you what, the building isn't full here inside Mizzou Arena, but it is a feisty crowd tonight. <laughs> that is for sure. Well, I, let's be honest. If you're 0 16, there's some feistiness yes. to be had right, in an right. arena. Uh, by the way, Noah Carter just picked up his third foul in the first half. Only played three minutes. Noah Carter, who has been so good. In the two years he's been here, but has really struggled the last two ball games. Scoreless at Florida, and scoreless against Ole Miss, in only a few minutes of both games. Auburn's done a nice job on that high ball screen game that Missouri likes to play. They think Auburn does such a great job of scouting, uh, knowing what they want to do. On all areas, Sean East only has three shots so far this ballgame. Action I Broom is so good at helping out. Boy, Tamar Bates. I, I think I try to continue to find Bates. Yes. Wow. Shot clock down to one. Knocks home another three. Bates already up to 13 points. Baker Mazzaro. He floats it off the glass and it'll trickle in. Kicks out for Nick Otter, but he'll head to the line. Foul on Cheney Johnson. Tamar Bates showed up early and went on Saturday at home against Georgia. Might be in that double bye position. Nick Otter at the free throw line, 88%. And I believe, is that not 31 in a row? Oh, you are correct. Now, let's see if you jinx him. His, his teammate Bates earlier this year at 37. The record is from Jason Sutherland at Ooh. 39. No jinx. Shooter to shooter. <laughs> <laughs> so you can say things like that. I can't. I got you. Uh, Church League doesn't count, Parker. Deny Broom has his shot blocked by Bates. He seems to be everywhere tonight. Now find him again on the offensive end. Let him go to work. Slices into the lane. High floater a little too strong. Rebound to the freshman. Oh, away. Wow, what a beautiful pass. It's Denver Jones whose high flying act results in two. Holloway's got a good poise to him as a freshman at the point guard position. Comes down, surveys the floor, but knows his teammate is running the lane. 
Mizzou is 3 of 10 on their two-point attempts, but 4 of 6 from behind the arc. Clock into single digits. Sean East trying to find a little bit of room, and that one is rejected by Janai Broom. Back to Sean East, 3 on the shot clock. Little ball fake, little shove. And that's going to be a shot clock violation. They're probably fortunate he didn't get whistled for an offensive foul. Yeah, you love how Broom guards. You love how he plays. And uh, take a look at Bates coming down. Here's the fast break. Holloway. Now you've got to understand where your teammates are. Perfect pass. Denver, Denver Jones. Easy finish. Holloway out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Two-time SEC Freshman of the Week. Running the point for Auburn. And for Mazzara. Tied up and had it intercepted by East. Honor wide open. Denied Broom the rebound. Off to Holloway. Oh, nice little stutter step and the floater. Ooh, How about wow. that? Wow. That's tough. A little hezzy up top and then an explosion and the floater. Always known as a great shooter through high school and has shot it well off and on his freshman year college. Largest lead of the night for Auburn. Sean East. Carolero Martin underneath for the easy two. And not an easy pass. Soft touch over the top of Brew. Rebound right into the hands of Denver Jones. Broom, he lines up a three. That one's short. Bates off to Carter. To a cutting Bates. Does, does Broom not change the entire game on the defensive end? Well, Dennis Gates jumping up and down, saying that Auburn was out of bounds on that sideline. Dennis Gates already with one technical here in the first half. Sean East! Boy, how did that not go in? You know, they have sped East up more so than any other SEC squad. Well, Carter hits the deck. Broom over the back for Carolina Martin. Foul on. Auburn, that'll go against Janai Broom. It'll be one and one on the other end now for Missouri. Question is, can anybody take down wow. South Carolina? Yeah, I, I don't know about that. Yeah. I don't know about that. Haven't had a lot of close games. South Carolina women have won eight. Of the last 10 SEC tournament titles. You do know who the defending national champion is. Yeah, they wear purple jerseys. Yeah, they do. Purple and gold. Yeah. And uh, they'll have something to say. Angel's going to bring her squad in there and uh, give it a shot. They had the uh, freshman of the year and the player of the year at LSU. Angel Reese taking home player of the year honors. Congrats to her. Jump a little too strong. Rebound to Carter. Off to East. Missouri trying to make a little push here. Under four to go in the first half. Down six. And with Carter playing with those three fouls. Chaney Johnson defending him, and they're going to call a foul on Chaney. That's a second on Chaney. See, because you're not answering the question, so well, I, I, think step in. I think Kentucky will win. Okay, there you go. Now you just changed everything. The whole betting I, world no, has changed. The whole of, dynamics changed. They're now, one of my three or four. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you're not going to give the other team. No, I'm not. Because they're fine. Uh, I, I think Tennessee is, is. This could be the breakthrough year for them in the Final Four. That's what I'm feeling. Just you know, watching the, them play. And, yeah, the other and, night and the uh, against Alabama. Uh, the key, yeah. you know, they've got a superstar that can carry you.
and veterans surrounding him. Yeah. The key is if those veterans do what they did against Alabama, if they make shots. Look, we even got an Alabama fan right in here. How about that? Can't run from the top. They're everywhere. Well played first half. I think what Missouri's done better than they've done in a few games is they're very physical on the yeah. defensive end. As we know, Auburn can be. Donaldson. Follow. How about that from Chris Moore? Where did that come from? Oh my goodness. Offensive rebounding. You must block out at some point. Auburn's too active. They're too aggressive. That was some kind of putback by Chris Moore. Foul on Donaldson on the other end. The acrobatic shot, the miss. If you don't block out, ever, Auburn's going to attack. Wow. Sean East, though, back at the free throw line. Sean East on the year, 84% at the line and been there a ton. He came into this one, 117 free throw attempts. Eighth in the conference in free throw percentage. He plays 34 minutes a game. That is second most in the Southeastern Conference. And he should. It's had a heck of a year. I wouldn't want to take him off the floor either. No, I wouldn't either. He plays at his pace. Difficult to defend because of how he can quickly release the shot. Keeps his dribble going most of the time. Matchup of high school teammates right here. Out of Tallahassee, Florida. Florida State University High School. Oh, Williams can't get it to go. Aiden Shaw with a big rebound off to Sean East. East trying to find a little bit of room behind the back. Puts it on his hip, draws a foul. Back to the free throw line for Missouri. Cardwell picks up the foul. Says so, first. And sometimes you don't have to make it to be spectacular. Watch this attempt. Ooh. And I tell you what, Auburn has done a great job of corralling Sean East, but like we said, he doesn't give up his dribble. So you're not done defending his first, second, or maybe his third move. He continues, he continues to attack into that foul. East, first Tiger to score 20 points in five straight games since Jabari Brown did it in 2014. Proved his scoring by double figures from last year. How about this? It was a 10-point lead by Auburn just a few moments ago. It's been cut to two. Auburn has missed seven of their last eight shots. And uh, Bruce Pearl knew this would be this kind of game. Crowd on their feet. Donaldson. KD Johnson elevates. No good. Batted around all the way out to Donaldson. Another corner pass. This one's partially blocked. Chris Moore had his shot blocked. Was that Robinson that came in there? The yeah. young freshman. Robinson blocked it. Nate Shaw tried to save it. No one was there. Everybody was taken off. Watch Robinson get up. What an effort. Robinson will sh shimmy his way over to the area that Trey Donaldson occupies. And again, those two guys played high school basketball together. It's the first time they've met on the college floor. Won a state championship under the direction of the great Charlie Ward. Isn't that amazing? Heisman Trophy winner, coaches you in high school. Both guys were fabulous players, obviously. Baker Mazzara. No good. Rebound to Shaw. Sean East gets a nice screen from Butler. East. Working on Baker Mazar. Back to East. Shot clock at seven. Long three for Sean. No good. Carlero Martin keeps it alive, but then threw it away right to Donaldson. 
J.D. Johnson to the basket. Counter and a foul against Missouri. He'll head to the line. What a fabulous read on the defensive end by Trey Donaldson. When guys are stuck inside, he read it to the corner. When he made the steal, look at this hit ahead, the pass, and then the finish. Trey Donaldson, a great quarterback in high school. That lead pass, there's contact. We know KD Johnson kind of loves contact, likes to get his body into your body. Able to finish. KD averaging seven points a game. 79% at the free throw line this year. Coming off just three points against Mississippi State. Only played nine minutes in that game, which was the second fewest for him this season. And he converts the three-point play. One forty to play before halftime. It's been a nice first half between these two clubs. Katie Johnson very aggressive defensively. I first thought on the matchup with East, but they switched off quickly. Sean East blocked by Broom, but there is Butler to follow it up. And now Donaldson looks like he may have injured a leg over there as he hobbles to that Auburn bench. Boy, don't need to see that. Let's hope he's okay. Tough kid. And they'll go back to the freshman Holloway. Gets it to KD Johnson. KD looks for a little seam. Finds it. And there's Shaw with another block. Broom on the spot. Counted for Janai Broom. Dave, no matter what you say, if you get beat off the dribble, you've got to have help weak side. Great block by H. Shaw. But when he has to leave a guy, that means another guy's open. And Janai Broom, as good as any to hang around. There he is. Easy pickup. East tries to get in his body. Broom converts. That is the 11th offensive rebound for Auburn tonight. The Tigers came in averaging 10 a game. Absolutely all starts if you don't keep your dribbler in front of you, your defense is going to struggle. Sean East with a nice crossover, bumps into Broom and threw it up there, but there's Shaw for a tap in. Under a minute to go in the first half. The crowd again rising to their feet here in Mizzou Arena. Baker Mazzara. In and out. Broom, offensive rebound. Put back is short, but a foul on Shaw. The first on eight. Dave, but Broom does so well when he gets the rebound. There's always contact, but he puts it up so quickly. So the contact, when they're coming down, stays with him. So he doesn't come down and have to reposition himself. Catches it, puts it back up as Shaw's body's laying into his. So Janai Broom at the free throw line. Missed his one attempt earlier in the first half. Missouri's been to the free throw was blown. So Broom, another free throw on the way, and that one will trickle through. Five-point lead, 30 seconds to go. There's about three and a half seconds between the two clocks. Well, this has been a physical ball game. East. <laughs> KD is going to stalk, right? He's going to stalk him. East is going to dance. There he goes, doing his thing. He got himself underneath the backboard. Thrown up there by Butler. No whistle, and that'll be the end of the half. Well, they're going to say shot clock violation. A shot clock violation, not the end of the half. There is Miles. Good. Matt, Matt Lodich, who uh, yeah. is a great player at Stanford, who's now assistant for Missouri. High throw to Janai Broom and throws it. 
off the backboard. Christian Leitner like Auburn. One of the things you notice when you watch Missouri last Saturday in the second half of, against Ole Miss is how aggressive they were yeah. on both ends. And it's same way first yeah. half. And, and, and all of a sudden it's it, it's I think it's a more aggressive team than we've seen, even though they play hard. This one's been more aggressive in attacking the rim. Here's Bates. Pull up three with four on the shot clock. A forced shot. Bates turns around and says he was pushed. You know, if you stand and you just dribble, there was no movement. And all of a sudden, Auburn, you can't do that against Auburn. They will gobble you up with their leg. Auburn has really struggled shooting the three-pointer so far in this game. Just two of 14 in the first 20 minutes. Remember when they went to the broom early in that first half? And he scored, and they go right back to him. Missouri will always have to make adjustments, and nobody really in white can guard Janai Brew tonight. Nick Honor bumped way out from the basket by Denver Jones. That'll be number two on Denver. Janai Broom, man, he gets it on that low block. He is a <laughs> tough act to stop. <laughs> I always love older players. They're asking for more things. Got touched, got fouled. East gets it back to Bates. There's Broom to pick up the miss. Denver Jones. Shot clock hits 10. All the way. Signals for a high screen. Dumped down to Broom. He's got such great hands, Dave. It's amazing because the ball is not where it needs to be, and everybody's tipped it and touched it. He somehow comes up with it. Underneath the basket, spins around, a lot of dribbling. Again, again, here's the tough part of that. And it's been good for East, but nothing else happens with the four other guys. They don't know where he's going. It's not a hard dribble that he draws attention and pitches it to an open guy. It's his dribble. And if he doesn't score, it's, I mean, it's kind of like a turnover. Everybody else is standing, they don't get a part of the offense. Zara, catch and shoot, yeah, largest cannot, lead of the game now. And cannot leave him open, a 43% three-point shooter. One of the things you notice when you watch Missouri last Saturday in the second half of, against Ole Miss is how aggressive they were yeah. on both ends. And it's same way first yeah. half. And, and, and all of a sudden, it's, it, it's, I think it's a more aggressive team than we've seen, even though they play hard. This one's been more aggressive in attacking the rim. Bates. Pull up three with four on the shot clock. A forced shot. Bates turns around and says he was pushed. You know, if you stand and you just dribble, there was no movement. And all of a sudden, Auburn, you can't do that against Auburn. They will gobble you up with their leg. Auburn has really struggled shooting the three-pointer so far in this game. Just two of 14 in the first 20 minutes. Remember when they went to the broom early in that first half, and he scored, and they go right back to him. Missouri will always have to make adjustments, and nobody really in white can guard Janai Broom tonight. Nick Honor bumped way out from the basket by Denver Jones. That'll be number two on Denver. Janai Broom, man, he gets it on that low block. He is a <laughs> Tough act to stop. I always love older players. They're asking for more things. Got touched, got fouled. East gets it back to Bates. Here's 
There's Broom to pick up the miss. And Baker Mazzara. Denver Jones. Shot clock hits 10. Holloway signals for a high screen. Dumped down to Broom. He's Just, got such great hands, Dave. It's amazing because the ball is not where it needs to be, and everybody's tipped it and touched it. He somehow comes up with it. East gets underneath the basket, spins around, a lot of dribbling. Again, here's the tough part of that, and it's been good for East. But nothing else happens with the four other guys. They don't know where he's going. It's not a hard dribble that he draws attention and pitches it to an open guy. It's his dribble. And if he doesn't score, it's, I mean, it's kind of like a turnover. Everybody else is standing. They don't get a part of the offense. Zara, catch and shoot. Yeah, Largest lead of the game now. And cannot leave him open. A 43% three-point shooter. Another great season. Finishing second to South Carolina. Here, Auburn. Up by 11. Jamie Johnson at the free throw line. Jamie Johnson out of Alabaster, Alabama. Transferred in from Alabama Huntsville. Three years there. Where he was an outstanding performer as the Gulf South Player of the Year last year. Kind of a common theme for Bruce Pearl, the guys that he gets Player of the Year in some smaller conferences. Guys that want to succeed at that higher level. Sean East throws it up, count it, and he'll head to the line. Boy, he did that in the second half to Ole Miss the other day. Yeah, time after, and time again. Yeah, and, and I think, again, the difficult part of guarding him is he just keeps that dribble going and you're doing the best you can. There are times I don't know, again, what it does for you offensively, but he's doing his thing. If he scores it, and when he goes to the free throw line, he's one of the best. Converts a three-point play now up to 12 points still just two of 12 from the field And let's go back to how Missouri got back in the Ole Miss game They did put a little more pressure and tried to speed up Ole Miss and it worked Auburn's hit four of five from the field to start the second half A.D. Johnson the ball fake steps inside and That'll be a foul on him yeah. And that'll be a foul on Sean East, and that'll be number three on Sean. And a lot of times when you're in a zone defense and the shot goes up, you're trying to get whatever area you are. Sean East at 6'3", all of a sudden you're matched up against 6'11", Dylan Cardwell. Not much of a chance. Behind the back pass to Donaldson. Oh, KD Johnson with the assist. Pretty play. Missouri side, Cheney Johnson for Auburn. But they'll go to the point of interruption, and that's on the baseline. And Missouri has the basketball. Good time. That was uh, well. Rhythm has been lost a little bit in the game. Well, we got deep thoughts with John Sunbold <laughs> during the timeout, though. I mean, how often? Hey, that's do we... how what we'll do. Every time we'll go deep <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> Baker Mazzara, and there is a major collision. Dylan Card, uh, Cardwell just backs in to Majok, and Bruce Pearl a little hot about that. I mean, there was some contact, but we see that kind of contact about every time the big boys run down the floor, don't we? Uh, big Mabor. From the South Sudan, put on a little little clinic there, didn't you? You did. Hey, it worked. Well done. We might be here a while, yeah. partner. Settle in. KD Johnson picks up the foul. That'll be his second. 
Bruce Pearl not too pleased about that last <laughs> foul. I, I think he said, I saw it. Noah Carter, strong take. That one's rejected. Baker Mazzara. Off to Cheney Johnson now. Spins in the land. Blocking foul against Missouri. That's going to go against Anthony Robinson. How quickly Baker Mazzara can get off his feet to block a shot. Came from the weak side. Obviously, ter terrific weak side help. I think Noel Carter thought he had an easy one. Intercepted by Otter. Not a good entry pass. And Missouri will have the basketball. You know, Buzz Williams talks about a turkey at AM, three stops yeah. in a row. Here's what I'd like. I'd like three possessions in a row that, like, we get a bucket or something without a whistle. You get that? Call that, we're going to call that a chicken? <laughs> no, I wouldn't do a chicken. <laughs> call it a steak. Yeah, something. Let's get, some, get a flow going here. Here's East. On baseline. Nice work by the youngster, but can't convert it. Anthony Robinson to the free throw line. Here we go. But another whistle. Nice move. High school teammate against high school teammate. Yeah, not unbelievable. Boy, he's mad he missed that shot, though. Point blank. Trey Donaldson talking to him before the game, so those two talk all the time. Still good friends, of course, when you start playing base, uh, basketball together. Since you're eight years old at the Y, you develop a uh, deep friendship, especially state championship through high school. But today, a little different. Didn't have a whole lot of communication. Is this to be the first time they square off at the college level? Yeah, I asked Anthony, I said, uh, communicate. He goes, yeah, all the time. Uh, but I haven't said anything to him today. What a thrill. Up zone, the middle usually wide open, and Cheney Johnson can go to work. And there he goes. The first half, it was Jalen Williams that could get into that spot. Both very effective. Nick Honor off to Robinson, swinging around to Carter. No good. Baker Mazar the rebound. He wants to go with it. Donaldson. Johnson, look at, that ball. Johnson. look at that ball move. Look at the body move. Got a good look. Boy, now Baker Mazzara goes flying. That's going to go against Anthony Robinson trying to block out Baker Mazzara. That'll be his third. And a lot of that action, Dave, is caused because there's so such good body movement and ball movement. Now you've got a big and. <laughs> I, if, if I'm Robinson, I'm going to the official and go, hey, sir, right. I can't knock him down like that. <laughs> I barely touch him. <laughs> this has become theatrical on both sides. The theater work. Chris Moore checks in. Janai Broom on the floor. Dady Johnson on the floor. Jalen Williams will inbound it. Donaldson stays on. It's Honor Carter. And keep an eye on Broom inside. Robinson Shaw on the floor for Missouri. Broom. There you go. That was pretty simple. Well, sometimes you see something, yeah. Dave, and you go, okay, there's Broom working in. They haven't matched up with it. Nick Honor, step back three. No good. Long rebound. There's more. Wow, that was deep. Katie Johnson. Inside. And a hold. Gonna... Oh, it's going to go against Nick Honor. That'll be his first, but that'll send Auburn to the free throw line as they are now shooting free throws for the remainder of the 12 39. Heck of a pass by KD Johnson. You know, KD's an interesting guy that he leads his team in steals. 
but he doesn't play that many minutes, right? 18 minutes of ball game. But can do so many different things to ignite his team, whether it's on the offensive end, defensive end. Eight times in double figures this year. He is an emotional player, and when it's headed in the right direction, very positive. This Auburn team. Williams now has nine in the game, five of five at the line. Missouri just trying to find the bottom of the net. They've missed five straight shots. Robinson bumps into KD Johnson. And now Missouri heads to the free throw line for the remainder of the 12 24 on the clock. Katie Johnson just looked over at Bruce Pearl and said, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> and Bruce just kind of so Bruce said, just back up a little bit. Just a little bit. Just, just, but he didn't, know. He didn't right, right. think it was a foul either. Likes the aggressiveness. Boy, not many work harder than that man, Bruce Pearl. Teams are always ready. They got a chance probably to maybe be a four seed in the yeah. tournament. Yeah. If they finish strong, who knows? They might even jump up to a three line if they can rattle off five or six in a row here. Yeah, yeah good point. It's a tough team to play. They've got a lot of different weapons. And again, he plays ten guys and they all play well. Williams with ball fake. Very nice. The guy not only can shoot it deep, but when he gets to the paint, Jalen always seems to just have total control when he's in the paint. How he wants to ball fake or score. Good work by Robinson getting in the tall timber and finding a little seam to kiss it off the glass. 14 point lead now for Auburn. Largest has been 16 just a moment ago. Control, control. That's what he wants to do. I mean, I don't know how you stop that. It's fun to watch. I mean, the way he does it. You love watching good players that have total control of their game in positions where they know they can control that defender. Kick out of bounds. It'll go, on, go to Auburn. Jalen Williams, the winningest player in Auburn history with 109 career. I didn't worry about the outside noise. You should get more shots here or get more minutes there. He's a kid. You know what he wanted to do? He wanted to win. I mean, that's what yeah. I that's what that's I cool. hear when you say those yeah. things. And here's a guy when uh, gets South Carolina. He had five three pointers in that game. Oops, when that second group comes in, you can just see it on his face. They try to expand any lead they can, or if they're down, they try to make up the difference. A little pressure. Aiden Shaw's really good at the front end of a press because of his length. This more and traffic underneath and knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Auburn with 18 on the shot clock. Size advantage again with this lineup in for Broom inside, especially underneath out of bounds. He's asking for it, just throw it up in the air, and not a good pass by Williams. If you've got the tallest guy, you got to throw the pass up the highest. Seems pretty simple. Yeah. Auburn, nine of twelve. 75% here in the second half from the floor. Tonight, Broom. Be patient with the dribble. And foul, he'll head to the line. I mean, every hesitation dribble, David, doesn't allow that double team to come. He doesn't pick it up. And when he doesn't pick it up, they kind of fake at him, and he keeps the dribble alive. Look at Shaw looks like he's coming. Fakes, doesn't come. Now, Carolina Martin is all by his lonesome, and Janai Broom is too good. Carolina 
13 at 6'7", 225, just trying to slow down the 6'10", 245-pound Janai Broom, and that's just a hard ask. Well, and Zeus, as we've seen him, he's just got great hands, does a lot of things well, gets his hand, knocks balls away, but to match up against one of the best in the SEC, difficult. Janai Broom can't get the second one to go down. Honor quickly back the other way, hammers home a three. He is six in the conference and three pointers per game. And the coaching staff on the Auburn sideline not happy. One thing you don't want is Nick Honor to just dribble up and get an open look. And that one will drop. Denver Jones will head to the free throw line. You know, earlier in the year when I did the South Carolina game with Auburn, Bruce Pearl put Denver Jones at the point guard position just for size. Well, what he did on that possession is because he had the speed ability and the quickness to go by Zeus. He did. Another option that Bruce Pearl can toy with when he's looking at backcourts and who they match up with. Fourth player in double figures now as... Jones reaches 10 points. We're talking to Bruce Pearl today. We're asking about the team. You know, it's late in the year. Kind of the grind of the season. You're on the road, late game, on the road in Columbia, Missouri. You know you're not getting back till late. Matter of fact, they have to fly to Columbus in Georgia because the Auburn airport has got some bad weather. Sean East will head to the free throw line. So you got all these things going on, but Bruce Pearl says this team is so locked in that he is not worried about any of that with this group. You know, he talked about it. He said, we're trying to play, once we hit March, every game as though it's the last game. If we lose, we're done. Even though you know it's not, but he wanted that effort for his guys. And if you saw the Mississippi State game, I don't know if I've seen a team be as physical with Mississippi State as we saw the Auburn team. Which I don't know if it was a surprise because we know how Auburn plays, but those first 15 minutes of that first half against Mississippi State was quite impressive by this Auburn squad. Alley oop to Broom. Oh. Just missed getting that through the cylinder. East back in a hurry. Sean. Oh, he got away with a four. Boy, did he ever. They're going to count it. He'll head to the free throw line. Yeah, that, that's a forearm with the right arm by Sean East. He's going to get the bucket, but now watch this one. Boom. Right across the chest, KD Johnson. You got to look around and go, no, wait a second. Sell it. Right, sell it. Sir, let me ask you a question. I always used to ask an official, how would you guard that? <laughs> I did every time. So I, how would you have guarded that? I think did I you ever caught. get an answer? Did you ever get it? Yeah, when I was a senior or yeah, junior, yeah, usually, yeah. you know, helped out. It's the fourth foul on KD Johnson, by the way. Go ahead to the bench, and here comes Denver Jones. This is uh, very similar to what happened in this building against Ole Miss. Yes. This Missouri team. Put full court pressure, made Aiden Shaw more aggressive. Kind of not an aggressive person by nature. Well, that was almost intercepted by Bates. Now, I think Auburn will like this and attack every way they can. And that guy, again, it, you got a full court pressure and your bigs are on one end of the floor. And your guards now got to guard the big on this yeah. end. You're in trouble. Nick Honor couldn't hold on to the basketball. Just lost it. Here's Williams. He'll lay it in. Nice pass from the youngster, Aiden Holloway. Aiden Holloway's got a cool. See how that goes. Yeah, good luck, Todd. <laughs> yeah. The teams have already combined for 44 three, uh, free throw attempts. And it is a little chippy, which means then the whistles will keep coming. Here's Sean East. That won't go. Broom the rebound. I'm not sure that's good basketball, to be honest, because <laughs> it's just a dribble show. And it, and it's, it's okay, but. East 4 of 16 from the field now. Yeah, I think Auburn can live with that. And oh, what a job over there <laughs> by Williams. 
five on the shot clock and a foul. A push off. That's going to go against Aiden Shaw, and that'll be his second. Twenty-two fouls against Missouri tonight. Nineteen fouls called against Auburn. I like how Aiden Holloway has responded tonight with the challenge. You know, even we said we didn't say it to him, but we said the challenge is he's a freshman going against East, who's 24 years old, and Honor, who's 24 years old, and Holloway. I, I think has responded. McDonald's All-American started the season great. Then you get into conference play. Everybody's seen you play. Everybody scouted you. So he had a few tough yeah. games. Who's Pro brought him off the bench, then back in the starting lineup, and he's been terrific. 3.1, six assists to turnover ratio. At 15 points when they won at Georgia. Now he gets a matchup against one of the great offensive players. Oh, Janai Broom got up to block the Shaw shot attempt, but foul. On Broom, that'll be his second. Look at the reaction, Broom. Now, Shaw's one of the high risers in this league. Here's the pass. Broom's helping out. No, he comes back. Perfect. Day. Or did I miss him? Pretty good. You look pretty good. I love how you drag me down with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so sure. Well, you, hey, you could say, <laughs> yeah. you're right, Sonny. Back, back to, to you, you. Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> Aiden Shaw kind of shot, puts it up there, gets them both to go. And how about their free throw percentage tonight? 24, 25? 96%. says. Cross court pass. Jones to Williams. Aiden Holloway faked the shot from the logo. He's got Aiden Shaw on him. Baker Mazar down to Janai Broom. Defended by Carter. Better help. Better help. Better help. There is the help. Under, underhand scoop pass inside to Williams. Does it all, but again, Williams, give him credit, finds the opening. You can't just stand somewhere when your teammates be a double team. Find a spot that he can see you. Broom can see a lot of things. Broom with eight rebounds, two assists. That time, Broom with a clean block. Well, what a release. What a release. Holloway for three. His first three of the game. He's up to nine. Ball's knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Missouri. Alabama. They're sitting there at 11 and 6, but everybody's chasing Tennessee right now. 13 and 3 for the balls. I tell you what, <clears throat> that Gator team is dangerous. They are really good. And I don't care if you call it SEC tournament or the NCAA tournament. Great backcourt. Length inside. Enough bigs to hurt you. Baker Mazar fouled on the way up. He'll head to the free throw line. That's going against Noah Carter, and that is his fourth. Auburn 14 of 18 from the field this half. Three of four from behind the arc. They've also hit eight of ten this half at the free throw line. Boy, and, and you know, Sonny, you told you and I were talking before the game today about how will Missouri handle the post presence of Auburn, and they have not done it very well. No, nah, it's a challenge. Uh, Auburn is 44 to 18 in points in the paint. Now take a look at the, the the balance of this Auburn attack. Ten guys play, ten will score. Different angles, different ways. And we maybe said it earlier that Mizzou's got a few tall guys. Now Vanover, Connor Vanover did not play tonight. He was concussed in the Florida loss. Did not play against Ole Miss. That takes one body out. But there's not enough girth inside to stop what Auburn brings to this game. Aiden Shaw blocked by Carwell. That'll go against Dillon. That'll be his third. A senior out of Augusta, Georgia. Tw 12 games. Another confused look. 
Well, I mean, he's fifth in the conference in blocks. It's like, how can you call that on me, man? I'm, I'm, that's what I do. I block shots. Matter of fact, he has 12 games with double-figure blocks with a season best five a couple of times. Coming that game against Baylor and LSU this year. But I tell you what, he is to me the energizer guy for that second group. He comes on the floor and the whole dynamic changes. And it's not about the points he's scoring. It's just he seems to be everywhere. Yeah, you're right, energy. When you watch him, he's got great hands. And and though the size at 6'11", 255, he moves so well. Runs the floor, plays extremely well with Katie Johnson and Trey Donaldson. Especially when they're at home, those lobs in the fast breaks. Good to see that Trey Donaldson wasn't hurt in the first half. Baker Bizarro. Katie Johnson. Trying to work on Aiden Shaw. And Cardwell up and under. Baker Mazzara had it, lost it. Three on the shot clock. He's got to get a shot off. Fires from the bench. That'll be a shot clock violation. He's been smiling a lot tonight. That's what he does. He plays, uh, he plays with an unbelievable passion for the game. And sometimes he gets caught on the bad side of it. Bruce Pearl has always said, uh, give me guys like that that will play that way. Now Baker Mazar defending Sean East. Back to Butler, takes Cardwell, who blocks that shot. Aiden Shaw kicks it back to Kurt Lewis, getting some run here in the second half. Didn't play in the first half. Kurt out of Louisville, Kentucky, by way of John Logan Community College, averaging a couple of points a game. Same school that uh, Shawnees came from. Both were National Junior College Player of the Year. First action for Kurt in the last five games. Baker Mazzara, ball fake on Butler. Kick it around to Cheney Johnson and blocking foul. That's going to go against Robinson. That'll be his fourth. So Auburn back at the free throw line. They are 22 out of 25. I'll say this, it's been a clinic of free throw shooting. Auburn's at 88%, Missouri's at 92%. I was trying to be something positive about the free throws, and you just leave me hanging like that. <laughs> I was thinking they've had enough attempts. <laughs> they should be good by now, right? They, got, they missed their first couple and then got warmed up. Not an easy game to officiate. Both teams aggressive attacking yeah. each other, and both teams are very active, not only with their feet, but with their hands, little grabbing and pulling. <laughs> or tackling. J.D. Johnson picks up another foul, and that will be his fifth. He will call it a night. Well, at least, the, at least his fifth one was one that he really found. He didn't even, he didn't even question. He right right to the bench. Yeah, right. I was going to explain to his teammates and maybe the coaches that two of them shouldn't have counted. He'll finish with three points on one of six from the field. A couple of assists, but that'll get Nick Otter to the free throw line. Nick, 88%. Is that uh, three? Tonight, three of three. Nick Honor is three of three. So that would be 33. Yeah. The uh -huh. record at uh, Mizzou is 39. <laughs> might, as well, uh, might as well leave with a record. Yeah, get you, get you a record. Yeah. Donaldson to Cardwell. Intercepted by Lewis. Physical play. Tough. 
Up ahead now to Jones. Alley oops, there it is. Wow. And expect at least one of those a game with Dylan Cargill on the floor. Runs the floor so well. At three off the mark. Rebound into the hands of Denver or Cheney Johnson. And it is a 23 point advantage for Auburn. They led this thing at halftime by five. The zoo cut it to two a couple of times late in that first half. Swinging around the perimeter. Johnson for three. And now they're really opening it up. I tell you, the ball really moves. Changes the game if you if you rely on the bounce the entire time on offense possession makes the defense stand and watch and the offense stands and watch if you move the ball by pass defense has to move try to catch up with the ball can't do it it's the ninth time Auburn has scored 90 plus points two loud ones from Dill it's the things that Auburn does game in game out their length their speed and I still think the the big guy in the center position that controls everything, Janai Broom from the back end. Not only blocks shots, but he, he just orchestrates everything from the paint. Double teams guys might steal a pass, blocks a shot from weak side. And does it all with great confidence, leadership role. Oh, he did so. Missouri The most points they have allowed at home this season the previous high was 91 against Arkansas Bouncing fires for three that won't go long rebound to East John trying to continue his streak of 20 point games. He's had five in a row So Sean East now at 20 points in his sixth straight 20 point games for Mr. East. It's been hard to get his 21 tonight. Yeah, a little different version this time, mostly from the free throw line. What a great set. Back screen by Cheney Johnson. A fabulous pass by Denver Jones against his own defense. Guardwell now up to eight. Auburn also had a great second half against Ole Miss earlier this year. The second half, they shot 73% in that game. Batted around, finally gets to Donaldson. Two and a half to play. And what has turned into a rout here in the second half. Now Bruce Pearl's kids were ready. Watch him and shoot around this morning, and, and obviously Coach Pearl was nervous about this kind of a game, and he knows how close Missouri's been, game in, game out. But he also knew that this week set up, you go to Missouri, is it winnable? Yes, if you play well, they've got a game and connect kind of piece. But may not always matter because there's enough weapons there. Right, they got they shoot guys. the ball well. Right, you know? right. And, that's I, and I think the difference... Wow. Kind I used to try. <laughs> looked That's okay the when it missed. Thing and they said, said all year. <laughs> well, it looked it looked good, but you had no chance. So think of their bigs at Auburn, Jalen Williams and Janai Broom that can both step out and make an open three. That's the difference when I watch their team. I mean, they look like they look in the second half. I mean, they're. It's impressive. Aiden 
Shaw in traffic. They'll just lay it up. No foul for Auburn with 1.18 to play in this game. Aiden Shaw now with seven points. Auburn has out rebounded Missouri 41 to 28. in the air and then we'll head to the free throw line well Dave you and I'll have uh, Auburn against Saturday against Georgia who had a win tonight yeah good win against Ole Miss well, we had Georgia last week a &M had a heck of a win on yeah. the road. not easy to win on the road here in the SEC And with this win, Auburn will be five and three on the road in the SEC. Auburn at home has been so good. Lost obviously one game to Kentucky this year, but over the last three years, Auburn's 43 and three at Neville Arena. Good response uh, as Sean East leaves for the last time in Mizzou Arena. Two years he played here. Underneath on more. That's the most points Missouri has allowed this season. They gave up 97 in the loss to Illinois. So Nick Honor at the free throw line. I didn't say anything. Can't blame me for that one. But he just snapped a streak of 34 straight. So Jason Sutherland, yeah. 39 in a row, still lives. You think Nick knows that that streak ended at 34 just now? I don't know if he did. Now well, he knows some streak ended because. Nick Honor gets a round of applause from the faithful here at Mizzou Arena on his final home game. Tough year this year to be a part of this. But those guys had so much success last year. Second yeah. round of the NCAA tournament. Yep. Oh my. Dylan Cardwell just did a second three of the season. And now six players in double figures. And the fourth time Auburn has scored 100 points this season. Dylan's going to be telling Coach Pearl, hey, hey, let's work on the pick and pop a little more often. <laughs> now, good win by Auburn. Did what they're supposed to do. Came in and handled business. Auburn, 76% from the field in the second half. 76%, 19 of 25. Carolina Martin to the bench now as Missouri just going to run out this one four on the clock and that will do it. Auburn wins it 101 to 74.